Welcome into New Orleans Saints Now. I'm your host, Trace Gerard, and in today's show, we got some juicy rumors to dive into. And first things first, what everyone else is talking about, Jordan Schultz's report on DeAndre Hopkins. Now, he tweeted out, sources are saying the Arizona Cardinals plan to trade all pro wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins this offseason. DeHop has two years and $34.36 million left on his contract and will likely seek a new deal. Owner Michael Bidwill plans to express this GM to or two GM candidates, and then he proceeded with his story. So let's break it down. Is D Hop on the move? Cardinals are planning on trading him this offseason. He has only played in 19 games over the last two seasons, and he missed six games this year due to that PED suspension. And if we all remember, DeAndre Hopkins, the former Clemson Tiger, former Houston Texan. Absolutely baller, an absolute baller and an absolute unit. And DeAndre Hopkins, I brought this picture up because how could you forget it? He's a special talent. This guy right here, he just, he goes and gets the ball. He's a damn good wide receiver. He's a damn good player. And he's a dominant NFL player. And in his career stats over the last 10 seasons, 853 receptions, almost 12,000 yards. 77.9 77.9 yards per game and 71 touchdowns. And if you take a look at his career, 2013 to 2019, he spent some time with the Houston Texans. And then, of course, we all remember that horrendously awful trade of David Johnson, I believe a second-round pick from the Cardinals to the Texans in a trade for DeAndre Hopkins. None of us knew what was going on. It's an absolute joke. But since then, he's been with the Arizona Cardinals. He's a five-time Pro Bowler, three-time first-team All-Pro 2017, he was the receiving touchdowns leader. The guy's a great football player. The guy's an athlete. And what I will say is it would take a splash trade to go and get DeAndre Hopkins. He's not going to come at a cheap price. The Cardinals aren't just going to throw him away for nothing like the Saints did with C.J. Gardner-Johnson. However, the Saints might have just what it takes to get away with the trade. So before we get more into the show, I want you to take the gauge and let me know would you trade DeAndre or for DeAndre Hopkins? Type T for trade, type P for pass. Let me know down in the comment section. And while you're down there, go down and subscribe today. If there are any Saints news, any Saints rumors, if a trade happens, if they sign somebody, if anything happens with Sean Payton, anything at all, we got you covered. Be sure to join the almost 11,000 subscribers that we have here at our amazing Houdat Nation at our amazing channel. Subscribe today, join our squad, so that way you can stay in the know with the black and gold. So, we talked about, do the Saints have just what it takes to go and get D-Hop? And I know exactly what you're thinking. Trace, you can't trade a player for a, for a coach. We'll get into that in a second. I'll answer that in a minute. But Sean Payton is currently a favorite to be the next head coach for the Arizona Cardinals. And just minutes ago, Tom Pelis- Pelissero putting this out. Mentioned in a story with Ian Rappaport, Last weekend on looming changes with the Cardinals that Sean Payton had been doing homework on the Arizona job. He's a Kyler Murray fan who, by the way, let's not forget, I got a pick six off of in high school flag football. No big deal. I should probably go get signed by the Saints. Anyway, he's a Kyler Murray fan and with no general manager in place, it'd be an opportunity to set up the whole operation. And Sean Payton, also from Ian Rappaport, just got approved for an interview by the Saints in Arizona. That's happening. It's going to happen. I know there's been some reports of Sean Payton wants to go somewhere where there's a strong, you know, trio of the front office players, management, owners, all of that. He wants a strong, uh, he wants a strong situation and he could go and create that strong situation at Arizona. And, and if you take a look at the DraftKing head coach's odds, you can see Sean Payton plus 200, Shane Steichen plus 750. Vance Joseph, plus 800. D'Amico Ryans, plus 1,200. Ben Johnson, plus 1,200. However, our sports book here at Chat Sports, BetUS, has them laid out like so. Vance Joseph, an internal candidate, plus 200. Sean Payton, plus 300. Ben Johnson, plus 300. Byron Leftwich, Leftwich excuse me, plus 250. And Mike Kafka, plus 400. Kind of crazy odds, kind of a crazy situation. And if you want to go bet on Sean Payton's next uh, next job or the Arizona Cardinals' next head coach, you can go down and get started at chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code chat125. They got all sorts of great deals. They got all sorts of fun at things that you can bet on. 
College football, it's over. But you got playoff football, you got the NBA, the NHL, all sorts of fun things. Go get started. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code CHAT125 for a $125 deposit bonus. You lay down $100, they give you $125. You have $225 to game with. Hey, go make yourself some money and go get started. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code CHAT125. All right, and so here's what Sean Payton had to say on his relationship with the Bidwell family who's associated with the Arizona Cardinals. I was a ball boy for this team. And so the early years there in 83, 84, and 85, it was head coach Jim Hannafan that, and then it became Gene Stallings. You know, we'd clean the rooms, bring towels to the rooms. We had a summer job. Neil Lomax had just taken over for Jim Hart at quarterback. Mr. Bidwell Sr. was the owner at the time, and I think I know that family well enough. And I want y'all to take a look at this picture. When Michael Bidwell was asked about Sean Payton in a recent uh, press conference, this was his face. It, it, that's the face of somebody that's, I, I know something. I can't really say it, but I, I, I know that there's something out there, and I'm too. it's too exciting to contain the emotion and contain the smile. Bidwell, very close with Sean Payton. They have a relationship. They have a longstanding relationship. At least the family does. So it's crazy. It could happen. I don't know. And if I'm the New Orleans Saints, Here's where things get crazy. Give me DeAndre Hopkins and that number three overall pick. The Saints have all the power here. I know that it's a long shot. I know that it's not necessarily a realistic possibility. But people were saying, and I know I go back to this every single time, Russell Wilson ain't getting traded. People aren't getting moved. Coaches ain't getting fired. This isn't happening. That's not happening. But half the time, it does end up happening. It's a long shot. Mickey Loomis, you have the power. You have Sean Payton's contract. You have his rights. You have his uh, contractual rights through 2024 season. Make it worth it. Go use your power and make something happen. And what I will say is the first round pick, 100% more likely than being able to get DeAndre Hopkins and that pick or let alone DeAndre Hopkins. But you can never say never in the NFL. It's one of those things you have. It's I don't know. Things get crazy, and I want you to go down and let me know who you'd select with that number three overall pick. And it's gonna, it, it's one of those things you have options. If the Saints do make this trade, they have the ability to maybe go get CJ Stroud, maybe go get a quarterback, maybe trade that pick away for a player. The possibilities are endless. And what I will say is, I know a lot of people are saying, Trace, you can't trade players for coaches. You can't do this. You can't do that. And I want you to go ahead and show me that rule that says you can't because I've scoured the internet for hours. I haven't found a thing. I've looked. I've talked to people. I've talked to everyone I know. Nobody has said you definitely cannot trade a player for a coach. It hasn't happened, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. And I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. So if you find something, let me know, and I'll put it up on the show on a graphic, and I'll say, hey, I'm wrong. But that being said, you can't say never. And I just want you guys to let me know who would you select with that number three overall pick if the Saints do trade for that. All right, to round things out, should the Saints go and make a free agency splash and go sign to Davion Clowney? Well, as we all know, Marcus Davenport, David Onyemata had their contracts restructured recently. They will not be franchise tagged. But Jadavion Clowney, not necessarily happy with the situation he has in Cleveland. If you look at what he said, he said this, 95% sure I won't be back, but there's still that 5%. You never know what can happen. Ain't that the damn truth in the NFL? All I'm saying, can't say no, never say never in this in this league. 28 tackles, four tackles for loss, two sacks, four QB hits. The former South Carolina Gamecock, he 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 gets it done. He's a dang good football player, and if you could plug him into this depth chart, he might actually be a pretty solid piece. I would much rather roll with Marcus da or with uh, I'd much rather work or run with Jadavion Clowney over Marcus Davenport or Peyton Turner. Guys like that are hurt. They're inconsistent. Cameron Jordan, still a baller. Carl Granderson, shout out to that guy. He's stepped up in a big way this year. But at the end of the day, you need defensive end help because some of these guys aren't producing exactly what they you were expecting. And I would 100% take Jadavion Clowney over Marcus Davenport. Yes, your for, former first-round pick, he was fun to have around. He's all right. He hasn't done much, though. He's been wildly inconsistent, and he's been 
he's missed time. He's been hurt. It stinks. But at the end of the day, I would take Jadavion Clowney over Marcus Davenport, and that's just my personal opinion. But I want to ask you, who would you take if you had to pick one? Type JC for J Jadavion Clowney. Type ND for Marcus Davenport. Who that nation? As always, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you. Y'all take it easy. Stay golden. I'll catch you next time.